Hey, I'm Bert from The Burt Show. Let me tell you what we're all about. You have people on a show that really don't like morning shows. So we created a show that we really wanted to hear. It's real and it's funny. We will talk about our personal lives. We're not scared of anything. And I think it's unlike anything that you've heard before. Hey, I am Kristen, your co-host of The Burt Show. I do your entertainment buzz every single day. It's Selena Gomez finding back at Justin Bieber with her latest Instagram picture. I haven't seen it. Can I see it? Mm. I want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd do them for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's lovely to spend some time in bed with you I as know. Well. I got to be in bed with Ed. I'm a gentle lover. <laughs> She's totally immature, and it's like working with my nine-year-old son every morning. Fuck you! <laughs> I like KK's butt, and I cannot lie. <laughs> you won't meet anyone with a bigger heart and a goofier personality. You continue to surprise me, Mr. Burgundy. Oh, you're my Spanish lady. Yeah, take me, my Viking lover. End of my 15 years of doing radio. Yeah. This is my favorite moment ever. Oh, really? Yes. Hey, I'm Davi, co-host of The Burt Show and your resident snarky broad. You can go straight to hell. <laughs> my co-host Davi is super hilarious. She's super cool and sometimes crazy. You going down, Mo. See, like that. Well, she's my comedic sidekick, and we the best tag team in radio. Walter is the one who has on a jersey and actually looks like he was just playing in a game. Yeah, he's right. always sweating. He, right? You see him. Then I went to your birthday party. Yeah. I was like, Walt, were you playing volleyball? And he's like, no, I ate a wing. <laughs> I put the fun in dysfunction. I grew up in a bit of a tumultuous household, and that has fashioned me to have a really excellent and kind of weird sense of humor. I was 12. My dad was like, I'm going to get her a 35-year baby. I had two <laughs> monkeys, and I had to change diapers. It was like a primate planned parenthood. <laughs> What's up? I'm Mo, the newest co-host of The Burt Show. How is it being an introverted entertainer in your position, and what did you do to really bring that out on this album? He's doing really good. That's really good. Kill. That's my dude. Yes, that's why I hired him. <laughs> when traveling around and doing stand-up comedy, I received an email from Burt one day asking me if I wanted to be the host of a morning show. And with no prior experience, I said, why not? Let's do it. It's good seeing you again, man. Good seeing you, and you're fantastic. I appreciate you, brother. The guy is hilarious. Prince is not a good singer, and his music is overrated. No. Oh. Oh. The man Cassandra. did Purple Rain at halftime and actually made it rain. <laughs> <laughs> Controls the weather. I've done everything from rapping in front of 16,000 people to doing stand-up in front of about 5,000. She wanted me to write a rap so that she can read it and surprise her sister at the wedding. Yeah, true love will never lie. May y'all have what we have, a true love that will never die. Me, well, I'm the new divorcee and also a father of two and just trying to balance out both while also exhaustingly trying to keep these guys in check. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you forget you're actually doing a radio show right now? He's a radio genius. I'm learning from him every day. He's the ultimate point guard. Knows how to get everybody involved, including himself. He is not afraid to share anything about his life. This guy right here is undateable. I am socially clumsy. I picked a piece of rice off of a date's face one time. No, you didn't. No, and you didn't. I ate it! <laughs> oh, really? Bert definitely knows how to connect with the female audience. He's very in touch with the feminine side of himself. Oh, no. We took his man card away yeah, a long no, time ago. <laughs> Open your eyes, Bert. What I'm most proud of when it comes to The Bert Show is our impact we've had with our listeners and the community. Bert's Big Adventure is the nonprofit. One radio talk show host has brought his community together to help give a trip of a lifetime to children who desperately need it. We take children that have chronic and terminal illnesses down to Disney World. And the Burt Show family, our listeners pay for everything. Everything from transportation to medical assistance to VIP passes at Disney World is provided. Coming from a military family, I love that we do the big thank you. No U.S. service member will be away from their family over the holidays without getting a handwritten note. I think that's beautiful. How'd you come up with it? Well, we we did do it a couple of years ago. Now the number is actually up to 400,000. You then exceeded that and have over 600,000 letters written. That is truly amazing. I just had to call in and thank your team and your listeners. You get more people that hang out with each other out of the studio. We hang out a lot. A lot. It's Bird Show bonding. <laughs> I mean, you guys all RSVP'd yes to the Christmas party, so you better be there. We oh, will I'm be there. there. <laughs> you get a show that is going to guarantee that we're going to put your listeners into a better mood before they get into work but we're also going to connect with them. Because we put our lives on display. And though our perspectives may be different, we all respect each other enough to actually learn from one another and get better, and I think that causes us to admire each other in a way. We're working together is actually fun. Yeah, that's different than a lot of morning shows. Yeah. We actually like each other. Yeah. <laughs>
It's not acting. It's the truth. I love working with them every single day. So what do you get with the Burt Show? You get something that sounds totally different than anything else you have in your city, and you have a show that connects with your listeners. They're not going to like us. They're going to love us. Real, real, funny, funny. The Burt Show.